Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a tips and tricks video steps that you should take after you clean install with Windows 10 on your computer. Now clean install. Clean install is technically a real clean install is done by using a media like a USB thumb drive or a DVD to reinstall Windows uh, and re reformatting your hard drive and everything. That's the real 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 official clean install uh, so you can do that but you know what for 90 percent of you out there it's fine enough and close enough to a clean install to simply go to uh, all settings you go update and security go into your recovery on the left side click get started under reset this pc and here just choose remove everything this is pretty close to a clean install and for you know most people that just want to reinstall Windows from scratch and you know just have nothing from the old install there this is very very good and very fine the reason why you might want to do an external clean install is for um, there's you know uh, more options uh, you have you know the possibility of reformatting your drive your, yourself also what's interesting with an external uh, clean install you can partition a hard drive you can dual boot if you want for example have windows 7 windows 10 on two separate partitions because the clean install from a boot media like a usb thumb drive or a dvd will let you choose which drive you want to install windows on these options are not available when you reset it just you know re refreshes your pc to to scratch but it doesn't give you any options it's a pretty automatic thing so uh, there are differences and that's why some people want to have these uh, things to the possibility to do a uh, clean install basically once you've done that uh, here are a few of the steps that I think now um, the first few ones are very important that you do them in the order that I've talked about you know you'll be on your desktop once you installed Windows 10 the first thing and the most important I think of all is to first go to the notifications all settings update and recovery and click that check for updates button that is a must this is the first thing you should do don't install anything don't install any software make sure you update Windows 10 to the latest and greatest version by checking out for updates now the reason for that is simple first of all it fixes all the secu security flaws it updates all the different features that have been updated but it also will update and install drivers that might be missing in your computer so it's the first thing you should do before anything else that's for sure now you've done that and you know what once it's installed you'll click check for updates again to make sure that everything's there sometimes you'll need to do it a few times before everything's there what's cool in Windows 10 is the cumulative updates are nice because it's one big package that includes everything uh, it's not like in the old versions of Windows where you had you know these uh, endless you know 100 200 <laughs> um, updates that download and install and take a million hours to install uh, it's much much better in Windows 10 because you get one big cumulative update that has pretty much everything and that's cool and makes it a lot easier to install these updates so you've done all the updates everything seems to be fine uh, second step you should check your drivers so go into the search for Cortana and type device manager and check the device manager for missing drivers and you probably might have your list should be as clean as mine mine is very clean here uh, if you have red X's or you have little yellow triangles or anything that seems bizarre in there that means you might need to go to your manufacturers website for drivers so by if you have a Tosh I have a Toshiba, I'll go to Toshiba.com. You have Dell, you go to Dell.com, HP.com, Acer.com, whatever uh, website, wherever, computer, Lenovo, etc. Go 
and there you will go into the support or driver downloads and you'll check for your model you have a brand I have a Toshiba but there's a model number for that Toshiba that I have which is an S855 then I'll have to find that and I'll have to find the exact product that I have once there check for drivers that they have for your computer download these drivers and install them if they um, you know you have missing drivers if you don't have if you have missing drivers they don't have Windows 10 drivers uh, often Windows 8.1 drivers will do the job so uh, you can try that if there's any missing drivers here so now you've updated the drivers your Windows is really up to date the third thing you should check now is antivirus go to if you know you don't know what to choose just check for Defender it's already installed on your computer it is the basic protection that Windows 10 offers for antivirus and malware and it basically works fine you know it's a very very nice little um, antivirus of course it's not the best that's for sure but you know what if you're careful with what you do online if you're careful with your uh, surfing this is more than enough as for firewall I never 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 think of uh, that installing a third-party firewall is useful because Windows 10 does have a good firewall and you have an even better firewall in your router if you're on wireless or if you have multiple computers running on a on a router you've got a hardware firewall in that router that is even better than the one the computer has so you know third-party uh, firewalls are completely useless in my advice um, really so antivirus if that's not the one you want Windows Defender which is the basic one in Windows 10 you get yourself the one you want uh, free antivirus like AVG uh, Commodore or um, what well, Avast whatever free antivirus you use uh, maybe you have a subscription to an antivirus well just go and download that you know paid antivirus like Norton 360 or you know not 32 or uh, Kaspersky or you know whatever you use uh, bit defender so you know this is cool because now you're protected you're updated computer works fine now it's time to find yourself something for multimedia why because in Windows 10, like in Windows 8, like in Windows 7, like in <laughs> all versions of Windows, the basic players for multimedia files are missing the major formats that everybody uses. And, you know, a lot of people say, man, that's stupid. Why doesn't my Windows machine play DVDs? Why doesn't my Windows machine play these audio or video files? It's simple. Microsoft needs to pay for every format that you want to listen to and they don't so they give you Windows 10 and it really plays just the basic file formats because they just don't want to pay for all the formats they don't want to pay for DVD usage and you know when you have a DVD player they have to pay for the DVD format they have to pay for the HD Blu-ray format so the good thing is even though Windows doesn't have anything you have the possibility to download one my favorite that I've been using now is pot player Dom pot player which is really my favorite I have to say it I love uh, pot player I, I think it's a great great little player for multimedia plays pretty much every types of audio and video formats and will play my DVDs so it's great it works fine and I like it you can download your favorite player uh, it could be VLC some people like VLC which is not too bad uh, there's VLC in the store by the way now these are going to play your formats that you want to listen to these are going to play your DVDs to play HD blu-ray DVDs you'll need a little more kick you'll need to have something that installs special codecs for a, the blu-ray player that's uh, one thing that you'll need so 
you install your favorite multimedia player. What do you do next? Uh, in my case, I will go and get my favorite web browser. So in my case, I will use um, Google Chrome. That's my favorite browser. Now you might say, well, why do you use Google Chrome? There's Internet Explorer or Edge or... Yeah. You know what? Y the, the, the browser that you use is fine. Whatever browser you use is okay. Don't listen to people say, oh, you, you use Internet Explorer, that's crap. Look, you use Internet Explorer, you're used to it, you like it, it's fine. Edge, it's fine. The reason I use Chrome is very simple. I've started using Chrome mostly because I use a lot of Google products and Gmail and stuff like that. And what happens is that Google Chrome syncs all my stuff with my accounts. That's why I like Chrome. So I install Chrome, I get into, log into my Gmail account, and you know, I get all my favorites right away. I just, you know, put a new favorite in my toolbar, it's gonna show up on all my PCs. I don't have to do nothing. That's why I use uh, Google Chrome, basically. Uh, it might be a little faster than other browsers, uh, but I like Chrome, you know, that's my personal take on it. But you might use any other browser, uh, you know, Opera, Safari, whatever you use, it's fine. And uh, then I will install my favorite Office suit. So in my case, I've got Microsoft Office. I use Word. So I'll go to, you know, Office 365 or uh, whatever, you know, if you, to download the latest office but you know what for most people the real paid Microsoft Office is not necessary I would bet that probably 80% of you out there don't even need a real thing you know what you got nice alternatives you can go to openoffice.org get yourself this you can go to libreoffice.org and get yourself the LibreOffice one they are great, they are compatible with the Microsoft Office formats and they do a great job and you know what, if you don't work at home or share um, much with others in uh, you know documents, that's really fine. You don't have to pay for Microsoft Office, that's for sure. And you know, you continue on after that to install whatever you need um, that might fancy you, you know, CCleaner, some people like that, and they install CCleaner or any other type of software. You might want to have Adobe Reader to, for the PDFs. Windows 10 does have a native PDF reader that is installed, so you don't need Adobe Reader to f uh, read PDFs, but if you prefer to have that, then you can, of course, download Adobe Reader. Uh, by going to the website, not by searching on it. You know, it's Adobe Reader, so it's adobe.com. And you'll go to the bottom right, I believe. Um, the bottom right, you'll have uh, here, Acrobat Reader, Flash Player, and so on. Flash Player is not needed in most cases because most browsers now have Flash integrated. Uh, Edge does, Chrome does, Internet Explorer 11 does. Um, maybe only Firefox does not, so um, that's something to check for, but apart from that, you don't need Flash Player, never. And, you know, slowly install whatever pieces of software that you use. You know, I install Cam Studio because I do these videos, so I need that. Uh, you know, slowly, but surely, your computer is now ready to work hard for you, and hopefully it works fine. And uh, always, you know, check out every time you install a new piece of software, uh, restart the computer, check it out, check, make sure everything is okay. Like that, at each step, you know what might exactly go wrong if something is giving you an error code. At least, you know, by doing that step by step, you say, oh, okay, this is what I just installed and gives me an error, so I knew that it's that that causing a problem. But hopefully you won't, you know, hopefully you won't have any problems. I don't haven't had any and uh, the install went really really well so these are my tips and tricks basically to reinstall windows on a computer and uh, the steps that you should actually take 
when you do a clean install or a reinstall if you reset your PC. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, anything you might have, anything that uh, you know you're curious about on this video, please ask. I'll try to answer if I can. And uh, thank you for following us. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Helps us on the ratings on YouTube. And by subscribing, you'll know when new videos are online. We typically post videos every day. So thank you for watching.